PM puts religion bill to test is the headline. Scott Morrison's authority will be put to the test in the first parliamentary sitting week of the election year as coalition MPs threaten to derail his agenda on religious protections and COVID-19 management. The Prime Minister will face a divided coalition party room on Tuesday over plans to ram amended religious discrimination legislation through the parliament this week as he attempts to rally his troops ahead of the election. I don't think you could want to, you would want to swap jobs for quids. For oh, look, I'd rather um, <laughs> use a blunt spoon to stab my own heart yeah. out, to be honest. But, uh, look, I, I loved your editorial and at the risk of sounding like we're in this mutual admiration society, which, for, for the record, we are. <laughs> but in terms of our discussion just before coming on air... Yeah. ..we want substance. And I don't, I don't believe I'm um, extraordinary in that sense. Mm. Like I'm, I, I'm in the media, sort of. I'm in corporate life with my business. Yes. I'm politically engaged by nature. Mm. I'm just not interested in the, in the schoolyard antics that, that don't deliver anything of substance. They work for us. Yeah. And, and, I, and I, I have empathy for the Prime Minister. We, we saw outrageous and disgraceful attacks on his, his, one of his daughters in the last 24 hours. Yeah. What is wrong with these people? I, 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 season three of Federal Parliament... I would like to unsubscribe. And, and, and I'm sorry, but I just think it needs to be said, this whole idea, and it's it's politics at its worst, right, this whole idea that Omicron is Scott Morrison's fault <laughs> or Dom Perrottet's fault, this whole let it rip, Domicron, I mean, that is cheap, absolutely morally and politically bankrupt politics. And I thought, I, to be honest, I thought Chris Minns was better than that. Yeah. His, his little, you know cute Twitter meme or let it rip. I mean, seriously, do better, mate. Uh, yeah, I don't want Twitter memes. I just want some legislation that's going to make my life better. I'm pretty sure that's what all of the people of New they South Wales... They work for us. Exactly. So what do you think... Uh, to, to this? Uh, Sorry I digressed there. Yeah, we're, low, we're a little... That's fine. We'll <laughs> Back, to, back off the black run. Obviously, this yarn tomorrow yeah. is leading most of the uh, major yeah. newspapers. Right? So we'll get to it a little bit later. In terms of, I guess, what we heard uh, today in ter and we've heard for the past couple of days about, you know, I, I feel it's some of the cabinet ministers just trying to soften up some of the backbenchers about, guys, we're going to have to make some changes. Mm -hmm. How do you think it's going to go? Well, I mean, you know, you could argue, and, and it has been argued, that the Prime Minister and the, and the Coalition went to the last election mm. on this legislation well, yeah. amongst, I mean, you could argue, it's the truth, they did. <laughs> so I, I always find it quite quaint how um, those with their own vested interests mm. suddenly feel this moral obligation to wreck their own home. And I'll give you an example of the opposite of that. Yes. Um, West Australia's voluntary assisted dying legislation, which was 2019, mm -hmm. and I remember the wonderful Yawn Sibma coming out and saying... I'm voting this because I, for my, elect, my electorate, it's not what I believe, but my electorate have instructed me that that is what I want us to vote for. The, the Australian people put this government in based on this platform amongst others. Mm. So if they want to self-immolate, there are better ways and quicker ways to do it mm. rather than creating problems for their own party yeah. this close to an election. Yeah. I feel, I think there will be a very big sermon tomorrow. And I also feel like, I don't know what your sense is, but I do feel like, I mean, I'm a Christian, it's probably the most fundamentally boring part of me, but I think when you're discussing these things, disclosure is important. Mm. But I, I think there is an, a level of anxiety amongst people of faith, mm. whether it's Christian faith or any other faith in this country, about their ability to express that faith in various places, workplaces, education places, without without suffering consequences. I would go out on a limb and say I think the, the majority of Australians, both the, that practise their faith regularly yep. and things like that, would not have any idea that this was even on the boil if it wasn't brought to the attention. Quite possibly. Ago. Quite possibly. Yeah. I mean, the Falau case was a lightning rod. And, yeah. I, and I think... I think mo I'd like to think most of us have the ability to hold two ideas in tension, yeah. to say that person's faith dictates their beliefs... I actually don't think that they're a corrupt person because of their no, faith. No. We can still break bread together, mm. figuratively speaking, <laughs> but it seems that that's a little bit challenging from time to time. Indeed, indeed.